the story of a friendly mongoose once upon a time long long time ago there lived a farmer named nattu in the village of badripur he lived happily with his wife and an infant son kallu nattu and his wife sheela doted on kallu once they were having tea in the evening nattu had an idea he said sheela we must have a pet who can be friends with our son they will be companions sheela also liked the idea so they brought home a cute little mongoose and named him mannu why it's a fine little mongoose cried sheela happy with her husband's choice mannu and kallu grew up fast mannu had a bushy tail and his eyes shined like two shiny beads kallu was a toddler by now he would often cry and then on being fed would start playing again one day sheela wanted to go to the market because there were no vegetables at home she fed kallu well and put him in the cradle to sleep she informed nattu that she was off to the market for a few hours nattu replied you can go peacefully i will keep an eye on kallu sheela looked worried she said nattu frankly i don't like to keep kallu alone with mannu after all it is an animal we cannot trust him blindly please make sure you are there all the time nattu persuaded his wife don't worry sheela it is such a friendly animal sheela went off nattu decided to go and meet his old friend mahesh in the village he could also look at his fields on his way back sheela returned home with heavy bags laden with shopping she was tired and feeling impatient with worry for her infant son she saw mannu sitting out there as if waiting for her he ran towards her as soon as he saw her sheela saw blood smeared on his face she was terrified and immediately jumped to the worst conclusion you wicked animal you have blood on your face you have killed my son she was mad with fury she threw all her shopping laden bags on the poor mongoose killing it instantly she ran inside to her baby to utter surprise the baby was sleeping soundly in the cradle and a black long snake lay dead next to the cradle in a flash sheela realized what must have happened and realized her grave mistake she ran outside again to see what had happened to mannu sadly mannu lay dead under the bags sheela was sobbing now her blind fury had killed the innocent protector of her son you saved my child and look what i have done i have killed you i shall never forgive myself i can merely thank you for killing the dead snake please forgive me when nathu returned home sheela informed him he cried silently for many days while thanking manu all the time